One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Forty-five. Your kingdom is an everlasting king kingdom. Psalm one hundred and forty-five. One more time. Do it again, please. Oh, it's worth a try. Is it really? This week. <laughs> but it is worth a try. That's all right. I don't know. Why don't you? I think you have to go left, please. You have to go left. He wrote Psalms 23. Can we restart that? Yep. Because I like it. Wait, I think I'm going to be lame. Like, well, every family's got to have one. <sighs> Can you say it again? Thanks for it, Daddy. Get too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it's sinking. Yeah. Sit down, guys. No, I'm going to get wet. <laughs> you might get wet. All right. Put some more weight on that. On your knees, McIntyre's. You might get a bit wet. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, you'll need to go over near Hannah's shoes. Hannah, how about that's it? Alright, don't worry. Keep going. Sit down, Pete. Pete, sit down. Yeah, you're Ooh, gee. Okay. Peter, move, move stand there. No, you can't stand. You're right. And it was a bit heavy on Tom's side. It was a hard competition. <laughs> Push you in. <laughs> You really did do a good job on the canoe. Yeah, I couldn't have done it with your oars though. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is Indy gonna wait there? Oh! 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 Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Hang on, we need to turn. Good morning! Last week we were reminded that God promised David that every future king of Israel would come from David's family and David's kingdom would last forever. God kept his promise by sending his son Jesus. Jesus as one of David's descendants. Jesus is our king who will rule over God's people forever. Our challenge last week was built a building challenge. Let's see what you came up with. Kids, welcome to Kids Church. Hi, so great that you can join us again this week. Hope you're really enjoying yeah. as we go through the story of Saul and David looking at 1 Samuel. 
You know, there's lots of things in the book of Samuel that... So much. There's, there's lots of things that we haven't even looked at. Mm -hmm. And you might like to look at some of those things yourself at home. You can open the Bible yourselves as a family and just look through those stories of what happened there. Mm -hmm. Do you know, the story of Saul's a sad story, isn't it? Really it really is a bit of a sad story. Mm -hmm. Saul's story comes to an end today. You might like to look in your Bible and just see what exactly happened to Saul, because we don't go into that a lot today. But we're going to be continuing. Let's do that. How about we start by um, praying together. Join with us as we pray. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you again that we can meet online and look at your word. And Lord, today we learn about the story of David and how he shows kindness to people in Saul's family. Help us to be kind and help us to learn from today's lesson. Amen. How is Jesus the perfect king? Jesus perfectly rules over everything. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule is for all generations. Psalm 145 verse 13. Well, kids, we're coming to something fairly important in today's kids' church. It's something we've done before. Mm. Do you know the Bible tells you that you should be able to answer anyone's question when they ask you why you believe what you believe about Jesus? Mm. We think it's really, really important that not only do you know what God has done for you, but if you believe that and you've asked for God's forgiveness, that you can also share that with others. And so to help you with that, we're going to go through again today the gospel, our explanation of it. You'll remember we've talked about it in Kids Church before. Yeah. So listen in. You might like to write this out and have it stuck up somewhere at home and try and remember so that when someone does say to you, what does it mean to be a Christian? You'll be able to explain it. Yeah, so there's five really important steps. And we've got some people to go through those steps with you and some Bible references that you can look up to. So listen along and see what you can learn. God rules. Revelation chapter 4 verses 11. You are worthy, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honour and power. For you created all things, and by your will they were created and have their being. We sinned. Romans 3 verse 23. All people have sinned and are not good enough for God's glory. God provided, John 3, 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God gave his son so that whoever believes in him may not be lost but have eternal life. Jesus gives 2 Corinthians 5, verse 21. Christ never sinned, but God treated him as a sinner so that Christ could make us acceptable to God. We respond. Romans chapter 10, verses 9 to 10. If you declare with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Welcome back to Survivor Battle of the Clans. Last week we saw Team Kennedy as the victors in their challenge of construction. This week, clans, we come to our elimination. Each clan will be participating in the elimination challenge, but only up for elimination are Clan McIntyre and Clan McGregor. One clan will be leaving us this week. Which clan? But also, Team Kennedy is the victors last week. You receive a reward. We hope you enjoy your reward challenge this week. Let's see who will remain for the ultimate survival. I'm evicting Team McIntyre because what they did with that raft, raft was just hopeless. I'm voting for Team McGregor. 
They didn't follow the instructions. They built a house instead of a raft. I'm rooting for Team McIntyre because they were hopeless throughout all the time. I'm voting for Team McGregor because they didn't even build a raft. I'm voting for Team McIntyre because they sunk the raft and it was really bad. So, first I was going to go for Team McIntyre because they just look weird. But then I thought that's probably not a fair reason. So I've gone with Team McGregor because they look weirder. I've gone for Team Kennedy. It's a pure numbers game. There's less of them, there's more of us. Hey. Get them out. I'm sorry, you're not allowed. They're not up for eviction. Kennedy's in the game and not up for eviction. Yep. McGregor's. <laughs> I'm convicting. Team McGregor, because they sabotaged our raft and almost drowned our dog. Oh, I can't believe it's come to this. Everyone's against us. I, I just can't see how we're going to win. It's time. I'm evicting Team McGregor. I'm falling on my sword. I don't think I can go on. Okay, team. You've cast your nominations. The votes have been tallied. And I'm sad to say that Team McGregor, you'll be leaving Survivor this week. Team McIntyre, you will be, you remain safe for next week. Let's see how you go with next week's challenge. And Team Kennedy, enjoy your celebrations. <laughs> <laughs> Team Kennedy, as winners of Survivor last week, you have been presented with the reward. Oh yes! Today's reward is a feast. Yo. Please eat and enjoy. Oh wow! Well, well. Oh. Look at that! Gosh. Oh, oh mercy! Do you think we should adopt her into our family? Uh, is there enough food? Of course there is! <laughs> oh, okay. I've always liked Luke. Can you be eating a banana? Oh, yeah. Which one did you want, Macca? Because I'm going to lick this one. <laughs> Part of our family from now on. I can't believe the Kennedys brought me into their clan. They were so kind and showed mercy to me. They gave me food and looked after me really well. We'll see what happens next week on Survivor Battle of the Clans. Oh, I'm so glad those McGregors are finally gone. I've been wanting them to get evicted for ages. Yeah, but weren't the Kennedys so kind to me? They led me into their family and gave me food and helped me out even when they didn't need to because I was evicted. You know, that reminds me of a story in the Bible. What story? King David wanted to show kindness to anyone remaining in King Saul's family. One of Saul's sons, Mephibosheth, was alive. Let's see what David did. That's a pretty sweet story that we just It really today. is. David is just amazing in the kindness that he shows. It is. It is an amazing story. It's one of my favourite stories in is the world. Is it really? Okay. Yeah. Um, it makes you think Mephibosheth. It's a great name, isn't it? No, it's not on our list. Uh, Mephibosheth. Now, what did he do to deserve David's kindness? You might like to talk about that at home. Yeah, that's a really good question, actually. Mm. But I wonder, too... Is there ways that we can show kindness, God's kindness to others? Hmm. 
How I'm could you sure do that? Sure, you week? could think of something you could do this week. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, have a chat about that at home, and Let's... I think Lucy's going to lead us in prayer now. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your goodness to us. We know that your grace to us is the only thing that protects us from your righteous anger towards sin. Help us to love you more each day and obey Jesus as our King of Kings. Amen. Today's challenge, Rob, what are we thinking? Ah, uh, yes. Well, this week's challenge now, sometimes our challenges are really fun. This one won't sound as mm. fun as some of the things we've done, but it's actually a really important one. It really is. We learned that David this week showed undeserved kindness to one of Saul's family. Mm. So it made us think, mm. what can you do to show kindness? We wanted you to think of something you can do this week. Or, or today even, where you show kindness to someone. It could be someone in your own family. It could be someone from our church family. You might like to uh, send them a card or a message or, or make a phone call. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you can think of lots of ways that you might be kind to someone in, the, in your family or outside of it. Mm, so, put your minds to it. Yeah. And see what you come up with. Yeah. We'll see, see you next week, week. guys. <laughs>